official papers. This chest belongs to the royal scribe himself, Eudorus. False bottom. A letter. Esteemed Ibis, the Pharaoh remains compliant and is our puppet in all things. Act with caution in Siwa. The murder of the Heron was but the first. Two from among us here in Alexandria have also been killed. However, the situation is under control. Canadios is actively questioning the populace. We commend your efforts, Ibis. Long life. Stamp to the seal of the snake. The snake is Eudorus. The royal scribe. I have said that the royal scribe is often at the bathhouse. I will kill that naked ear that you taught us there. I have said that the royal scribe is often at the bathhouse. I will kill that naked ear that Eudorus there. Uh, of course. The palace is much more pleasant without Eudorus and his constant <laughs> Δόθημο παραγείγνεσαι τάχα.
scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She's at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria, Gennadius. Gennadius? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Philakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. You will learn more at the villa. The queen enjoys the life of high society. Whoa. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Oh. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. This is most delightful. This way. Oh, don't do it. She doesn't hold the ground. Please. Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xanthivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In mehoto ek nepsheven. My queen, this is, uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I've already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! You were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region, but they have been unable to touch the order. Uh, across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the order of ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. 
And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sun shed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink. Celebrate. Make love. Tomorrow. I saw you ride last month when five chariots all... So I said, it's not your pig I'm talking about, it's your wife! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Bayak! How long has it been? A decade? <laughs> More? <laughs> you left Siwa a long time ago, huh? And you left your name behind, too. I had to. Claridas is a name better suited for the Hippodrome. <laughs> Remember the horses we rode outside Siwa? Huh? Oh, those nags. <laughs> I thought you would never leave that shithole. Hmm. Siwa. Small, poor, and ugly. The only beauty there was Aya. Has it changed much? Has she? Things change. People change. <laughs> ah! I need another drink! <laughs> Pardon, Neb. I heard Claridas say you once rode together. My father sponsors the Prazina Greens, and we are in need of a mighty racer. I'm only here to drink and forget. Leave him alone, Nikias. <laughs> Real men are drinking here tonight. 
<laughs> Bayek, come. Let me show you something inspiring. Huh? Taking me, Senefa. Please, Claridas. I have not been Senefa in years. Ah, why did you change your name? To succeed in the Hippodrome, one must be welcomed by the Greek houses. So, a Greek name. Abandoned your name, your home? Siwa was nothing to me. The Greeks may look down on us, but screw them. I eat and drink well on what I win. I have no ambition to race at the Hippodrome. You? <laughs> no, never. They cheer for me. Besides, you would need a sponsor, a real chariot. Now, Icarus, he was a true hero. Did you know he won a thousand races and survived twice as many? See how they loved Icarus? You have adopted their gods too. Aye. Our gods never did anything for me. You're lucky I left. If I had stayed, Aya would have been mine. You are drunk and an ass. You have no idea what I gave up. Oh, the world is hard. You always looked down on me in Siwa. Thought you were better. I never. Doesn't matter. I have found fame. At what cost? You gave up your home, your name, your gods. You chose this path. And it has brought me all the coin and cunt I want. Now, you always wanted glory. It is not what drives all of us. And all you wanted was Aya and little Bayax. What made you abandon your dream? Enough. Oh. 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 Move! Move! You alive? Uh, 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 <laughs> you are old. Time for me to dunk my head. Uh, the beer hits harder than you. What in Dionysus' name were you talking to Nikias about last night? Nikias? Who? Don't bullshit me. I saw you. What? You think his father will just welcome you onto the Prasina Green team? You really think you could roll onto the track and win races with no training? No skill? Piss on you. Maybe I should seek this Nikias out and hear his offer. If you can win, Claridas, it can't be that hard. You might want to pray first. You'll need all the help you can get to survive the Hippodrome. The gods will watch us race and decide. You have your gods, I have mine. We'll see who rides out covered in glory. Enough has been said. <laughs> Let the gods judge you in the Hippodrome. I should not be seen in this area. And you're dead! Trouble here! Come on!
Time to go home. Wait, Medzai. These sagging cocks stole a bust of Icarus that my mother had prepared for the great Sariotir's memorial. They threw it in the river to defile it and bring a curse upon the Prasina green racers. We need it. Let me get you to your mother first. No. You must retrieve it before it is lost for good, or else my mother will never recover from her despair. I can make it home, but I am too weak to find the bust. Please. Find the bust of my namesake and bring it back to my mother. As I must. Death, you ignite their passions, Icarus. Let's get you where you belong. My need is great. You saved my son! 
A thousand thanks and more I owe you. The bust of Icarus. Now Prasina has a chance in the upcoming games. You are truly a blessing sent from the gods. We will make an offering to Icarus and the Prasina Green in your name. There is no need for that. But if you must, make the offering for my son. I would have loved to have shown him the spectacle of the Hippodrome. We will. Come, mother. We have to prepare to deal with my brother's funeral. Yes, of course. At least he's glad that the bust of Icarus was restored. are in Arrakis. What has upset them? An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? Where's the body? Charcoal gets spilled. <laughs> the railing broke when someone went over it. Blood. Still fresh. Such a mess. Charcoal gets spilled.
cannot leave you here. I will take you back to Peleus for the proper rites. Poor Ruia. If you had only known how to make such a leap. What did you get yourself into? Beasts with the faces of men prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. By the gods! Ruya! What happened? She was thrown to her death from the Pigeon Tower. Your letter. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our master of arms. Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. Poor, poor girl. May you walk in the field of dreams. Dimnos, I'm looking for Ruya. Perhaps because she has your badge. Shit. Well, she was just an Egyptian dog. No matter. Why did you do it? Truth? I didn't mean to kill her. Only teach her a lesson for her insolence. She refused to read a letter for me. You must confess to Peleus. I suppose you want the same fate as Ruya. You stupid Egyptian. I'll teach you the same lesson she learned! Come! Try! You will pay, corpse! Your kind are all cowards and carrion eaters! Himnos? Yes. He killed Ruia out of base cruelty. And he died because he thought I was also less than a person. What a senseless tragedy. She was a smart girl with a good heart. Seek the master brewer, Akuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. 
Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the scarab, the shadow that darkens size. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows that people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. There are many terrible stories about the scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate. Trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun, waiting for the final release into the duat. But these are only stories. There are real villains in size. But the Scarab, if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. The last man who asked questions about the scarab was near beaten to death. With his tongue cut out. Who was he? Paul Cooper, father in law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Hawab, is his grandson. Hey, you tired of winning? I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No. He left on the road to Campiros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. I should be cautious around here. Well, can't be sure it's safe yet.
by my father's cult muscle. I think you killed him. No, no, he's still breathing. Still breathing. This will I will get you out. I think you will survive. I know this scarab took your tongue, but we can help each other. Akuf told me that you are investigating this scarab. Help me, and I can ensure he dies. Bayek, yes? My master is anxious that you get this letter. It is urgent. Your master? Do I know him? His name is Otis. You haven't met. All is explained in the letter. You see, one never know peace. I will go to the Sarajina camp to learn if there is any truth to this letter. Banged up, bruised, and thirsty. The soldiers did not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where is your father, Kawa? You must speak of this. Father is away, on his great work. Mother! Grandfather is hurt! Soldiers mistook him for a beggar again. Father! What have you done this time? He was searching for this garab. I hope he can help me. And in return, I can protect your family. The scarab is nonsense. Everyone knows this. He wants you to read them. Uh, it looks like the scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods! That is where my husband is. But well, the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband, Tahaka, has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. <laughs> yeah, of course I will, go up. Master Tahaka, my name is Bayek from Siwa. I am indeed Tahaka, Grand Planner of Sais and Steward of Latopolis. I met your family. Your wife sent me here. She said you might know about the one called the Scarab. This is not the place to speak, for who knows who may overhear our words. Come inside and I will answer you. Here, Inu Aishad, Henchemet Nesu. 
Your son is very proud of your work. He misses you. You'll be here soon. I dream of my son and his sons following in my steps. The world is made by great men dreaming big. What do you dream of, Bayek? I do not have the luxury of dreams. Just finding the scarab. The scarab preys upon the weak. There's no threat to me. Are you not afraid of the Scarab, Tahaka? It seems after what he did to your father-in-law. What happens to poor Gupa tears me. Whatever my life's work, whatsoever I did to bring that down upon him, I beg the gods forgive me. Master Tahaka! They're attacking the ruins again! Bayek, come fight with me. Rises in the sand with it. Must not get lost. That keening is the voice of the reset you. The desert dogs use the storm as a rallying cry. These reavers use the sandstorm to mask their raids. Stay close to me! Do not let these curse surround you! I will not let you destroy my great work! Over here! Drive the naked yet at back! They pour out the storm! These reapers fly on the wings of the storm! the greatest of Egypt! Come, Metai! Fight with me! Quick, put them down!
closed. These reavers think of themselves lions. They are but whipped curs. Bayek, hunt them now! Stay with me, Bayek. The Topolis will stand against you, curs. Die, you sons of dogs! Years of dedication. Ah.
you fell upon them like Sobek's teeth. Pike, ride with us. These desert dogs have crossed me for the last time. And with your fierce iron, I know we can end their threat. I understand your thirst for blood, Tahaka. But these bandits are not my concern. Tell me about this scarab before you ride. Is that not the badge of a Medjai that you wear? These reapers are a threat to the good and innocent people of Latopolis. Come with me, Pike. And once we have returned these curs to the desert they so love, then I will tell you the story you want to hear. All right. I will join your cause for today. Come, Bayek. Take up your iron and join us. Brave, loyal servants of Latopolis! We will root these rivers out of their holes and spill their blood on the sand! What are you doing? Hey! Watch out! What's the menu of I should not be seen in this area. You heard about